guess what I have? I have a thread up goodie box. You know what thread up is? It's an online consignment store. And um, you can just go buy stuff on there and they'll ship it to you. But I like to do what's called a goodie box for $10. They'll pick 10 items and send them to you and then you try them on and, you know, just like any other subscription box. And they send you a label to send this box back for anything you don't want to keep. And anything you do keep, that $10 comes off of it. So even if you don't keep anything, you're only out 10 bucks. So why not? So it's got a list of everything and they give you... Uh, they didn't do it this time. Oh, yeah, they do. They give you um, their estimated retail price and their price. Like the top one on this list is, it's a women's Columbia button-down shirt. Estimated retail, $45. My cost, $14.99. So the whole list is like that where it gives you how much you would have paid new and one other thing that's kind of cool is you can go online and look at stuff and it'll tell you because you're buying used, sometimes it's new with tags, but you know, you're not going to the store and buying something, you're buying something somebody else already bought at one time. You're saving X amount of water, reduce your carbon footprint by X amount. So it tells you all that fun stuff. Okay. So here's what it looks like with polka dots. It says stealing, sealing on their, their stickers that seal it shut. It says sealing deal since 2009 and let's stick together. That's what their little stickers say. Alrighty. Here's what it looks like, nice and folded up. Okay, this one is a crocheted. It looks like at least a knee length cami, camisole, not camisole, cardi, cardigan. And then it's got a different pattern on the bottom. I don't usually look good in like an off white. But, you know, if it's over some other brighter color, I might like it. Let's see how much that one is. Um, if I can find it. Cardigan, there we go. Woman's CJ Banks Cardigan. Originally $89. My cost, $27.99. Here's a cute little summer top. I told him I wanted vacation wear, so summery stuff. This is cute. Um, let's see the brand so I can find it on the list. Oh man, there's no tag in it. The tag's gone. So I probably irritated somebody's neck and they cut it out, so let's see how, what are the how you wash it's on here at least. Um, um, Hundred percent rayon, machine wash, cold, line dry. Okay, look. Let's see if we can figure out which one this one is because it doesn't have a brand on it. Oh, huh. I wonder if this is the swimsuit cover-up. I don't know. There's a cardigan and a swimsuit cover-up, so I'm not sure which one that one is. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, I don't know which one this one is. Well, darn. <laughs> it's cute. Maybe I can narrow it down. Oh, it's that's kind of weird. It's got it's got one.
try on it, but not the other one's gone. Oh, here's the tag. New directions. Okay. So you would have to cut that other tag or other tie off because you can't, you know, have just one. That would be weird. Uh, new directions blouse, originally $54, $25.98. Mm, it's cute, but I don't think it's $26 cute, especially since I'd have to contend with that. Alrighty, well, these two would go together, though. Oh, this is cute. It's a denim. Definitely needs some ironing. It's a denim uh, little vest kind of thingy. Sleeveless top, vest, whatever you want to call it. And that's that one that I said was the Columbia one. Uh, originally $45, my cost $14.99. That would be cute, like as a vest with something underneath it. But it's lightweight where you can wear it in, in the summer, too. Okay, this is Alyssa W. Collection. It's a size 16. Oh, this is cute. Not sure if it'll fit. I don't usually wear a 16, but it's pretty. It's got, I don't know if you can see this. Let me put my hand under there. This is cut out, see? Alyssa something. Let's see. Hmm. Let me look again because I don't see. There's one that says assorted brands blouse, but this one had a brand in it, so I don't know. Made in India, Alyssa M. Collection, so that may not be the brand. Hmm. Not sure what the brand on this one is. If, it, if it's the Assorted Brands top, it's originally $48, cost $30.99. Don't know. This one's, well, it doesn't still have the tag, but it's still got the little clippy thing, so obviously nobody wore this one. This is an ASOS. It's really see-through. Black. Very, very, very low-necked. <laughs> you definitely have to wear something under this because it's super low-necked. This is, yeah, no, this is, this is already a no, I can tell. Oh, it's a swimsuit cover-up. Okay, I can see that then. Original price, $36, cost $19.99. I wouldn't wear this as a swimsuit cover-up, but I don't know. I'm not even sure I'll try that one on. And here's some cute shorts. There's kind of a peachy, pinky color. Let's see, can you see the color better close up? Uh, a little bit. Let's see. Um, there they are down at the bottom. Women's Land's End shorts, originally $72, dollars nineteen ninety eight. That's not bad. We'll see if these fit. Oh, this is cute. It's an ombre. I like the berry, pink, berry color. It goes dark pink to light pink down to white. And it looks like it's a high-low. I think this is a pale pink in the bottom. I don't think it's white, actually. Oh, who makes this? Oh, it's still got the tag. It's Lane Bryant. Originally $39.95. This still has the tag. Lane Bryant. There's a couple Lane Bryants. This must be the, because it's $39.95, it must be this one. It's only $14.99. This one's cute. Hope it fits right, because I think it's cute. This color looks good on me. 
I'm still digging. There's still more. Well, this is cute also. This is the back. And then this is the front. Let's see. Is there a tag in this thing somewhere? It's super soft. Oh, this is also a Lane Bryant. It's very soft. So this is the other Lane Bryant one. Um, that was that one. Here's the other one. Originally 36. It's also $14.99. Very soft, very pretty color too. Oh, here's some white jeans. Oh, they're capris. Look at the pocket. The back pockets are embroidered. Oh, there's a little, I don't know if I can get that off or not. There's, see that black right there? there Ink denim, straight leg, curvy crop. I don't know whether I could get that black off the back, but I do wear long blouses, so it might cover it up. Let's see, denim jeans. Um, what brand did I say it was? Oh, this this is ink jeans. Uh, original price seventy one. These are twenty two ninety nine. Last but not least, oh, I don't like these already. I don't like this color at all. I'm not a brown kind of girl. These are. Um, I don't know, but I don't care for these. They have kind of a wide leg. They're probably supposed to be capris, but on me, they're going to be jeans. But I don't really care for them. But they would go with those first two pieces, the two brownie colored pieces. These are... Um, Lauren Jeans Company. Originally $71.20.99. Alrighty then. Let's try some of this on. A little iffy about some of it. There's a couple I really like. The two from Lane Bryant, the ombre one and the blue one with the crisscrosses in the back. I like those two. They were the cheapest ones. So I like that. Alrighty, I've got three pieces on. Don't like this outfit on me at all. Don't like the pants. Top's a little short. Pants are a little tight. But they're, I don't know. I don't like the color. I don't like the color of this. This is just totally not me. What do you think? <laughs> this I like. Do you think this? I think this is supposed to be loose like this. Looks a little big, but I think it's supposed to be that way. Then here's those white capris. I think this is a really cute outfit. You think this looks too big? I mean, it fits up here. I think it, this part's just supposed to be, they call it a swing blouse. What do you think? This is cute. I love the color. I can't tell when it's too low in the back of my bra shows. I'll have to relook at the video to tell. <laughs> but I think this is really cute. What do you think? I like the crisscrossings in the back. It's cute. Oh, I started to walk away and didn't turn you off. I'm not sure what happened, but halfway through my wrap-up video, it switched over to slow-mo, and I was like, this is... Uh, 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 you know, <laughs> it was just really funny. I'm like... Good thing I double checked that before I um before I sent it out to y'all. <laughs> Alrighty, wrap up video. This one with the 
pretty stuff at the bottom. It was really cute, but totally did not fit. If you're interested in these, once I send them back, you can request them. I thought it was really cute, but too small. This was that um, swimsuit cover-up thing. I would not wear a black swimsuit cover-up in Texas. This I really liked, but it was way too small. It says it's a 2X. There is no way it comes like to here on me. Isn't, I couldn't even wear it unbuttoned. It's so small. It's probably more the equivalent of a large or an extra large. It's cute, but no. <laughs> These I really liked, but they didn't fit either. They have, I don't know how they, sometimes they have this button way over here. And so it cuts off like an inch and a half of your, you know, waist room. I need that inch and a half <laughs> for it to fit. So this did not fit because these, these, and these things were over really far too, these little hook thingies. I mean, just put it right above, you know, don't put it way over, put it right, right in a row with the zipper. So these did not fit. I like the color. If you were like maybe a 16 or you have a smaller waist than me or whatever, you could probably wear them. This was cute, but a little short on me. Plus I um, thought it was 20, I think it was $26. It was a little much money for what it is. The waist was a little small on these. Plus I just don't look good in brown. It's just too much brown. <laughs> I just, I don't wear brown hardly ever. So these are, I was like, eh, about, don't really care for them. I found the uh, other tassel to that blouse. It was missing a tassel and I found it. It was laying on the floor. So it, I didn't break it off. It was like that when I got it. <laughs> if you're watching, uh, which I'm sure you're not, but if you were watching me thread up, I didn't do it. <laughs> this, didn't look good on me either. This whole outfit is cute together, but not on me. You know what I mean? I just didn't think I looked good in it at all. So, so those three I didn't like, and they fit a little iffy. And all the rest of those ones I showed you were too small, except the swimsuit cover up, which I didn't really want that either. Now we're down to the three I'm considering. <laughs> probably going to get because they're a good price and I like them. This one's brand new with tags. I love this color. It's ombre, so it's, you know, but the color by the face is what really counts, you know. It's like if there's, like, I can't wear yellow next to my face, but if it's farther down, I can wear it. You know, it's just something that's right next to my face. That's the color that looks good or bad on you, I think. This one I thought was really cute. Oh, this one was only $14.99 from Lane Bryant. This one also was $14.99 from Lane Bryant. Both of these are just so soft and comfy. I don't see this seems new. I don't think it's got the tag still on it, but it doesn't really have a tag. It's just got one of those printed in it kind of things. You know, one of these things where it's got the so you don't have a tag, but this, this was, the color's really good on me, I think. And it's really cute. This was also $14.99. Then these pants, I thought they fit well. They're comfy, summery. I like the pocket. Then I thought it had a black spot on the pocket, but it was a piece of black lint from one of the other tops. So that's even cooler. It doesn't have, doesn't have a stain on it. So this was $22.99, so basically $23. And these were, the two tops were a total of 30, so 53, 50, 50, $3 or $4. Um, but you take the $10 off for the shipping in, so it's only 40, $43 and I don't think I have to pay um, 
taxes because it came out of Georgia. The warehouse is in Georgia. That's how they do. They ship whatever warehouse is closest to you. They t ship all 10 of your items from that warehouse. So you can't like say, oh, I want this from here and this from here and this from here. It, they all have to come from the wa same warehouse in the goodie boxes. I mean, if you just want to buy something, that's different. But I think you end up paying a little more freight if you get them from a bunch of different warehouses because each one's going to charge you freight when it's like this. It's all that's why I like the goodie boxes because it's you're not paying a bunch of freight if you're buying thread up, um, just going online and buying it, you're paying freight. And this you're paying the ten dollars, but if you're buying anything, you're getting it back. So hopefully, you're not slow mo this time. <laughs> Uh, did you like the goodie box? Should I try another one in the fall, maybe? Um, this is not definitely not something I would get every month, but maybe every season. Have you ever tried a goodie box? They have different themes, like they'll have business attire theme or party time theme. This particular theme was vacation, summer vacation theme. So you can, and you go, oh, you can just say, I think also with the goodie boxes, you can pick a couple things and then have them do the rest up to five, I think. Maybe you can pick five and they pick five or something like that. But I just usually let them pick them all just for fun. So I'm surprised. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. I do unboxings. If you're new to my channel, I do unboxings as soon as I get a box. I do an unboxing. <laughs> I do lots of unboxings, do mass Mondays. Do a little bit of everything all week long. Got a collab coming out Friday where we're doing half of our face with makeup and the other half just the way God gave it to us. <laughs> so you can see what a difference makeup makes. I think there's about five, seven or eight of us. I I am never doing two coll collabs at the same time. I totally messed it up. I got confused of who was in which one, and uh, it's too hard to do two at the same time. So I'm going to have another one I'm doing, too, a snack snack box one where we send each other boxes full of snacks. I got mine today, but I haven't peeked at it yet. And I think she said she was hooking me up with gluten-free stuff, which is great because I'm gluten-free. So I said she didn't have to because I got four other people in my house that would eat the gluten stuff. So no problem. But she, I think she hooked me up with all gluten-free stuff from what she said. So I'll do a video on that. I think we released them on the 26th to give everybody time to get their boxes and get their videos done and everything. But watch a on Friday for our makeup collab. Some of us are doing little small giveaways. Some of us aren't. So you just have to watch us all and find out, see our makeup stuff, and some people are doing giveaways. I just mailed off today. My 400 subscriber giveaway winner was Heather Starcher, and her box is off in, off in the airplane, heading her way. I don't know how long it'll take to get here. I think they said Friday or Saturday, because I used one of those... Um, Priority mailboxes. Those are great because it's like fifteen fifty for a box about yay big, and you can cram a lot in there. I bet that thing weighed fifteen pounds at least. It was heavy. So however much you can cram in it, it's still fifteen fifty. Whether it's you know two things or fifty things, if you can cram them all in there, it's still fifteen fifty. So that's the way to go, and. It usually goes three-day service or something like that, two- or three-day service, so it gets there pretty quick. All right, I am going to let you all go. I hope you have a wonderful week. What's my remaining of it? You had a holiday yesterday, so and you're done working today, probably, so you only have three more work days. Yay! Of course, if you're me, you don't have any more work days. <laughs> I don't work at all. <laughs> I had lunch with a friend I hadn't seen, and whew, last time we had lunch was March, so what's that? April, May, June, four months we hadn't seen each other, but now she's she's not working anymore. I think she's going to try and manage it financially where just her husband works and she can stay home and work on a little side projects and stuff and not work a job job, so I'll be able to see her more, so that's great. Um... I guess that's all. I hope you enjoyed this. We will talk again soon.